But uh, race crime in America is a concern. Archie Sashadri spoke to Jay Kansara, director of the Hindu American Foundation, on the recent hate crimes against Indians in the United States. Let's listen in. Over the past six months since Trump has taken office, there has been an increase, according to many reports, about hate crimes in the United States targeting specifically minority groups as well as immigrant communities like Indian Americans. In fact, groups like the Hindu American Foundation, uh, which uh, aims to protect and provide legislation to keep people safe, are now becoming active dealing with these situations firsthand. I'm now joined by Jay Kinsara, who is one of the directors of the Hindu American Foundation. Jay, thanks for joining us. In thanks fact, you told me that uh, you were out in Kansas when Srinivas Kuchibotla, the uh, man, was shot and killed at a bar in Kansas. What was it like and how important is it for organizations like yourself to push and make sure Indians are kept safe? So thank you for having me. Uh, it's critical, actually. So uh, I've met with Governor Sam Brownback twice alongside community leaders. In fact, they, they invited us to come to provide some guidance and what to advocate for. Uh, in Kansas, for example, there is uh, there's a very weak hate crime law that's on the books. We want to enhance that and strengthen it, and we want to ensure that any hate crime that happens in the state of Kansas now, as a result of this current past shooting, will get the type of uh, scrutiny and judicial process that it deserves. And we're very th thankful that the Department of Justice has actually uh, brought a hate crime charge uh, towards Adam Purinton, the perpetrator of the shooting in Olathe, Kansas. Uh, let's also talk about, you know, recently there was a situation with a girl uh, in Virginia uh, she, who was going to the mosque and there was a, she was attacked as well. I mean, it seems like there is a lot more. Is that the case? Is that the ground reality? Are we seeing more hate crimes? And if so, why is that the case? I definitely think there's a heightened sense of awareness of these types of crimes. And, you know, my, our thoughts and prayers, of course, with the family that of this young woman who was uh, brutally murdered. Although the, the local law enforcement says that it's not a hate crime, we want the Department of Justice to fully investigate this because a hate crime against any immigrant community or any community for that matter is a hate crime against all communities. And it's critical that as Indian Americans, we do stand up to this. And I'm very happy that the Prime Minister of India is probably going to address the issue of the safety of the Indian community in the United States with President Trump. Have you noticed a difference yourself? Are these just in certain rural towns in middle America or are the big cities impacted as well? I mean, have you noticed a difference perhaps from how it was when Obama was president versus when Trump is president, specifically when it comes to race relations? I think that, that this is something that is not uh, exclusive to just middle America or rural America. This can happen in urban centers. In fact, during Obama's time, there was a Hindu man that was shoved in front of a subway, uh, Sunando Sen, in 2012, I believe, and he, uh, his, the perpetrator said, I hate Hindus and Muslims, and shoved him in front of a subway car, and he died, unfortunately. And then in Bothell, Washington, right outside of Seattle, just uh, two years ago, Hindu temples were being uh, defaced with graffiti. And so this is not something exclusive to any particular administration, although we do want to see this president stand out against it much more clearly. Uh, and, and we want the attorney general to continue to to pursue hate crime charges against these perpetrators. Let's also talk about uh, an issue that's sort of been in the news that uh, evoked a lot of controversy, the travel ban, specifically from some of the Muslim countries, and that certainly evoked a very mixed reaction, uh, especially here in the United States. I mean, we sort of uh, uh, dealt with it to a certain level about putting our laptops in, checked in bags when we were flying through uh, the Middle East. How has that been and how surprised are you that a president is doing things like that, sort of isolating a religion? Uh, are you surprised by that or where do you think that, uh, uh, that policy sort of stemmed from? Well, the Hindu American Foundation was very clear that this is a violation of the Constitution. Um, although he can, he, this president has attempted to couch it in certain ways, um, it's clearly a discriminatory uh, policy with, un with in unintended consequences. Now, we agree with the president and any president for that matter that we must deal with terrorism effectively and smartly. And um, we were very concerned, for example, with some of the statements and overtures he made while in Saudi Arabia, for example, with selling of, of arms and ammunition to Saudi Arabia, a country that has clearly supported Wahhabi terrorism. But unfortunately, they're not on the list, neither is Pakistan. And I don't mean to say that all Saudis and all Pakistanis are 
uh, worthy of being banned from travel to the United States. But if there is an actual policy that he wants to ensure that America is safe, then this would be a smart way to begin the conversation, is that uh, ensuring that countries such as Saudi Arabia and Pakistan are censured for this, uh, for this type of activity. And we hope that the Prime Minister of India will be able to uh, ensure that he understands that President Trump understands that India is a partner in the war on terror and there's no other way about it and I think the Prime Minister really relayed his uh, his remarks very well today in his speech at, at the Ritz Carlton all right, thank you so much, Jake and Sarah, getting us perspective from the Hindu American Foundation. Well, there you have it. Race relations, certainly a hot button issue. To what extent will Modi and Trump be able to accomplish this? That is the big question to make sure that South Asians are safe here in the United States. Reporting in Washington, D.C., Archit Sashadri, we on.